hey guys how's it going and in this video I'll be demonstrating the working of an active high pass filter now an active high pass filter is just the exact opposite of a low pass filter what it does is it allows the signals or frequencies higher than a particular cutoff or critical frequency to pass through it but blocks the signals of lower frequencies and the reason it is called active is because it contains an active component such as an operational amplifier that amplifies the input signal and this is the circuit that I used to create my active high pass filter and as you can see it is just a high pass RC filter connected in series to an operational amplifier to provide amplification and the cutoff frequency of such a filter is given by 1 by 2 by R1 C1 and the gain from the operational amplifier in the inverting mode is minus R2 by R1 and note one thing from this diagram that I'm using the operational amplifier in the inverting mode so my output signal would be out of phase um, to the input signal and this is the actual circuit that I made for my active high pass filter and as you can see here is my input signal right here and then the, there is this resistance R1 then the capacitance C going into the second pin of this operational amplifier IC and I'm using the 741C operational amplifier IC right here whose second pin is for the inverting terminal and then there is another resistance R2 going from the second pin to the sixth pin of this 741C operational amplifier IC and the sixth pin is for the output so I am taking the output from the sixth pin and I am observing it on the DSOS can be seen from this wire right here and the fourth pin of this operation amplifier IC has been connected to the negative terminal of the power supply providing minus 15 volts and the seventh pin of this operation amplifier IC has been connected to the positive terminal of the power supply providing plus 15 volts then this third pin has been grounded which is for the inverting terminal as can be seen from this um, this circuit diagram right here so this is the circuit that I made on my breadboard now let me show you how it works and take some observations and by the way just one more thing before we move further um, this is my setup for this experiment this right here is my function generator which will be providing a sinusoidal signal and that would be going into the input of this filter circuit then this is the power supply for the 741C IC and then this is the DSO on which I will be observing both the input signals as well as the output signal from the active high pass filter circuit and here I am giving a 300 hertz input signal to the input of my filter circuit and then I will be observing that on the digital storage oscilloscope now the yellow line on this DSO is for the input signal and the blue line is for the output signal so just pause the signal right there and try to measure the output voltages of both the signals so the output voltage of the output signal from the filter circuit is approximately 420 millivolts and the input signal which I am measuring right now comes out at about um, 2.60 volts so I will note that in my observation file and take even more readings at different frequencies now the frequency of the input signal is approximately 400 Hertz um, and I will note down the output voltage at this frequency in my observation file and I will keep repeating this step a number of times for a number of frequencies so now 540 Hertz and note down the output voltage again so 
so keep repeating this step again and again for different frequencies and another thing that I forgot to tell you guys was that the values of the resistances and the capacitances that I used in my circuit now the circuit that I made has a cutoff frequency of about 1.5 kilohertz and so the value of the resistance was 1 kilo ohm the value of R1 and the value of capacitance C was of 0.1 microfarad so that gives a cutoff frequency of about 1.592 kilohertz and since this is a high pass filter therefore until I reach that cutoff frequency the output voltage will be pretty small as you can see that I'm getting output voltage only in milli millivolts up till now and even at the cutoff frequency I should get at about 70.7 percent of the input voltage and since the input voltage is 2.6 volts so it would be somewhere around 2 volts um, the output voltage at the cutoff frequency but until then it will be smaller than even half of that so just keep taking the readings and note, note them down in your files and ultimately what we are going to be doing is we will plot a graph of the gain on the y-axis versus the frequencies on the x-axis and the gain will be taken in decibels and now at about 820 hertz the output voltage is almost 1 volt so I'll just note that in my observation file now increase the voltage again this time even higher up to 1.1 kilohertz and now we can see that the output voltage is increasing now I'm getting 1.3 volts and as I increase it further up to 1.15 kilohertz the output voltage is increasing even faster now once you have taken lots and lots of readings what you can do is you can plot the gain in decibels on the y-axis and the log of frequency on the x-axis now the reason I have taken the log of frequency is because um, I took the output voltages for a range of frequencies starting from at about 100 hertz up till 3 or 2 kilohertz so I had to you know take the log so that I could scale them on the graph properly and as you can see it is a pretty good curve and even it matches the theoretical curve pretty good this right here is what I should have gotten theoretically and as you can see that this line denotes the cutoff frequency and at that cutoff frequency the gain is about minus 3 decibels and I am getting almost that so I can verify that my experiment went pretty well and I got pretty good results and if you have any questions or doubts don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below and I will definitely answer those for you and that's it for today and thanks for watching and have a nice day see you next time